Okay, um, good evening everyone. I'm Ms. Ramesh here again. Uh, in this episode, so we're going to learn about um, very important questions, uh, even though this question looks very simple, but a little bit tricky. So the question is based on unit four percentage. Okay, so this is uh, one of the common questions you are ask in your exam. Okay, let's say this really we go to the question. Okay, look at the question number one here. Mm. They are 20 boys, 20 boys. Okay. So they are 20 boys here and 20 girls. 20 boys and 20 girls in the class. Okay. Four of four out of five of the boys and 50% of the girls pass the exam pass the examination find the percentage in the pupils who pass the examination the question is you must find in the percentage this is the question actually you said what the first thing you have to do is you must find how many boys pass the exam and how many girls pass the exam too <coughs> Okay, let's say find for boys first. So I'll write it here boy, boys equal to four over five boys. Okay, four over five times by from this. Look at this 20 boys. 20. So it's equal to how much you're going to get? You'll get 60. So you, you should know how to solve this for three. Five divided by five, get one. So 20 divided by 5 get 4, you'll get 16 boys. Okay, the same thing we're going to do for uh, girls also. So girls is a 50%. So you write 5 or over 100 you times by 20 girls. Okay. And you simplify, very simple. Okay, simplify. See, you have one zero here. One zero, one zero. Five times by two, you will get 10. So the total students here equal to 26 students pass the exam. And the question is, they want in the percentage. So you write it here. So. Uh, around here percentage okay percentage i just write faster so total number of students passed 26 out of how much is it this two and you plus this two you get 40 students so 40 times by because they're asking the percentage you have times by 100 percent Okay, you have to do a simplify. So how do you want to do a simplify? Listen, the, uh, the way you want to do a simplify is up to you. Okay, uh, it's not necessary, must follow like my method. Okay, so uh, two divide two, I said four divide two, we'll get uh, two, uh, you get five, and then get one, get 13. So 13 times by, 39 by 5, you will get 65%. Okay, 65%. So this is the first answer. Okay, for the question number one. Okay, let's say we move to the question number two. Question number two, 30, 30 percent, uh, 30 percent of the pupils in the classroom were Practical. Where what? Where? Practical. The second one is calculate the number of number. Okay, so number of students. Okay, number of the people who do not wear spectacles. Do not wear spectacles. Okay, so they're only asking for the people who do not. So when they're asking 
uh, is included boy and girls because they say the people okay the people means total number of students so what you're going to do here is take 40 students here okay so 40 people means is equal to 100 percent okay from the total always you remember that when you take from the initial from the beginning it must be always 100 percent so from here you just split two groups okay so what actually they're trying to say here is 30 percent 30 percent what they say where's back again? let's say from 100 if you take away 30 percent so how much left 70 percent 70 percent so what they say do not do not wear spectacle so now we really know 70 percent students do not wear spectacles so so they are asking number of students okay number of pupils so what are you going to do? 70 over 100 times by 40 students. Okay, so you cut one zero, you cut one zero, you cut your one zero, cut your one zero, seven and four. So seven times by seven times by four, you'll get 28. Those uh, do not wear. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing what you want to do here is because you don't have a number sentence here, right? You write the NS. You have two options. Either you just do a working first, do the working, means the working based on the working you can write. Right here. So the first thing you can write 100%. Minus 30%, and then you times by total number of students. Total number of students, see how much? When you write, get one mark for the working, and the answer, you get another one more mark. Okay, this is the way the, uh, the examiner mark. Okay, so I hope you can understand the question here. If you still got any doubt, you can just replay the same video. And then try to understand if you still got any question please come back to me okay please leave your comment in the comment box down there and then i'll come and I'll reply to you okay thank you um, i hope thank you very much and